वेलकम एवरी माइंड आपका स्वागत है फिटस्पिरेशन टॉक पे मैं आपका होस्ट विशाल सहगिर आपका स्वागत करता हूँ हम आपका फिटनेस एक्सपीरियंस और वेलनेस एक्सपीरियंस बेहतर करना चाहते हैं तो उसी के चलते हुए हम आज लेके आ रहे हैं वन ऑफ द मोस्ट रिनाउंड शेफ इन द फेडरेशन इन इंडिया ही इज़ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट सेलिब्रेटेड शेफ एंड हैज बीन पार्ट ऑफ वन ऑफ द ही हैज रिप्रजेंट इंडिया टू द वर्ल्ड and represented punjabi cuisine so this is not just one of his achievements so he is he has been mentored out for many people so he has always been aspirational and inspiration for at most aspiring chefs so let's welcome someone who has been part of the jury of master chef india and national food institute so let's welcome chef vishwadi badi to get his wisdom out of him to learn things from him to learn food ki khane ki kya importance hai khate tum sab so thank you so much sir for being the part of our fitspiration talk as aap mere mentor reh chuke hain aur i'm glad that you are being part of it so aapne apni itni mushkil aur i know that like how your schedule is सो आपने उसमें से टाइम निकाला एंड थैंक यू सो मच फॉर कमिंग ऑन द शो इंडीड विशाल थैंक यू सो मच फॉर इन्वाइटिंग मी हेयर एंड मैं आपका शो काफ़ी टाइम से फॉलो कर रहा हूँ आई नो यू फ्रॉम लास्ट ट्वेंटी ईयर्स बट शो जब से आपने पॉडकास्ट शुरू किया है आई बिन फॉलोइंग इट एंड यू आर डूइंग अ रियल गुड जॉब बाई स्प्रेडिंग अवेयरनेस इन टू द मासिस कंग्रेचुलेस ऑन दैट एंड इट्स माई ऑनर टू बी हेयर थैंक यू सो मच सर वी आर जस्ट ट्राइंग कि हम किसी की लाइफ में किसी के जर्नी में थोड़ी सी भी इंस्पिरेशन या मोटिवेशन और किसी की लाइफ सुधार पाए तो आई थिंक माय जन्म इज सक्सेस सक्सेसफुल या सो दैट्स व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू अचीव एंड थैंक यू सो मच आपके वर्ड्स मेरे लिए बहुत मैटर करते हैं ग्रेट विशाल इट्स रियली अ मैटर ऑफ इंकरेजमेंट फॉर एवरी वन टू लिसन टू दिस पॉडकास्ट एंड आई एम श्योर दिस विल गो वेरी वेल एंड आई एम वेरी एक्साइटेड बिकॉज आई नो वॉट काइंड ऑफ कैलिबर यू होल्ड वॉट डू यू नो आपने मुझे क्या कुछ सिखाया है तो आई एम रियली एक्साइटेड आई वॉन्ट पीपल टू लर्न थिंग्स फ्रॉम यू इट्स नॉट जस्ट आई एम नॉट जस्ट होस्टिंग दिस एज यू हैव बीन इन टू दिस इंडस्ट्री इट्स जस्ट लाइक आई नो द फैक्ट दैट यू नो deep inside insights of ingredients supplements food what is food like it's just something people are eating consuming it out of the need but you know that like how important it is and what to eat what not to eat the uh, i just want i'm really, really excited so let's just start it let's have a let's, quick start let's go about ahead. it, let's start it. because uh, i just want to ask you first like how this all started like from where this inspiration for being a chef or like what ignites that like okay i want to be this uh well vishal the story goes back when i was around 8 years old so what happened is i had some guests at my house and my mother wasn't there at home and uh, i all i had learned was somewhere was how to make french fries i had learned my mother okay. uh, learned from my mother how she used to do it yeah so i instantly went on I did it well. The first time I burnt it okay. because I didn't know the temperatures. Yeah. But uh, my parents really appreciated me for at least the effort that I had put in. Though that was too young age to do all It's that. Eight is a very small number, and I am like commendable part. They let you do that even. Yeah, because I was complete with my brother, and he's elder to me, and he okay. was there, standing there, and you know, looking after uh, because fire is involved. Yeah. So he's he was around sixteen years, and that is how it really happened. That's right. so the inspiration came uh, from my parents itself my grandfather he was a very well known doctor and uh, he used to heal people with his medicines okay so my idea was throughout uh, the journey my idea has been to heal people through food because you know food has been food has all the healing properties if we consider food it is an ayurvedic uh, gift from our ancestors honestly like i second that thought I know this how important it is. So this is what I want people to learn from you. Like you are the expert in this. So I want your expertise to spill out the facts about food and how important. Like there are few food 
or supplements or what i'll say ingredients which are like people use it but they don't know the importance of it like wo ek itni si dal chini kya kar sakti hai right so that and so the, it's it's quite inspirational that if you started that from the age of 8 and eventually leading that from the family of doctors absolutely yeah absolutely yeah, yeah so like have you any f- faced any kind of a like criticism or what i'll say they don't want to you to be part of it or they want you to be doctor like have you faced that kind of a thing uh as you just said that of course i belong to a family of doctors everybody has been a doctor in my family and yeah. uh, as i told you that we been healing people through uh, the medicines yeah. so uh, my parents have been very encouraging throughout for the yeah. journey when the parents are encouraging and if the child is always interested in that line i think we should go ahead with that yeah because uh, whenever i used to come from my college my catering college whenever i used to make something and my parents really used to appreciate it so that really yeah. brought the chef out of me and uh, so that was a complete that, yes. support of the family absolute support i'll say yeah, and it's very important in our generation that you know because no line has no line is small or big you know it is all about uh, if a chef is there he is as good as a doctor or maybe as good as an engineer because it's totally. a very professional field what i would rather say that being a chef is the first thing that everybody should learn to be because food is the existence of uh, our life yeah it's it's the most one of the most important part after water <laughs> yeah <laughs> after breathing after breathing yeah. i'll say yeah <laughs> so everything is equally important yeah. right yeah. so we cannot leave anything mm. so this is the most important part of us so as this inspired so like like where did you like you you did your uh, culinary schooling from which 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 institute I did my culinary schooling from uh, that is IHM Chandigarh. Okay. So this is the Institute of Hotel Management, and there were a couple of uh, good people, good celebrities in my college itself. Yeah. Uh, Chef Kunal Kapoor was my first year, though he was uh, from day one. He's he was very sincere about food. Wow. So he's risen to the heights just because of sincerity and his passion about the food. So you have like, I know, as I want people to be aware about it. Like you have been the. Like, the part of the lobby mm. where like people who are the top notch chefs in our country you have been sitting around them like you were working with them so and it started from your college days right that i was not aware about so like what 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 all are your experiences like what do you want people or students those who are pursuing this management as they have like had lots of things in their mm. mind Like this lane specifically, you, know, you have to chop. Itna itna bori of onions, aloo cutne hain. So, pehle kuch din yehi karna padta hai. So kids get like, thoda finicky about it. Like we 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 do we need to do this or that. Ye ek myth hai. Ye ye abhi bhi practice ho rahi hai. Ya aapke time pe bhi hoti thi. I I actually want to know that because many many students those who are pursuing this they ask me this. Like is it true? ये ऐसा करना पड़ता है तो एज अ एक्सपर्ट यू हैव बीन टू द बोथ एंड्स स्टूडेंट एज वेल एज अ टीचर एज वेल तो योर टेक ऑन इट लुक विशाल जब हम कुछ भी शुरू करते हैं तो उससे पहले उसकी ए बी सी सीखना बहुत जरूरी है ट्रू सो गोइंग टू अ होटल और सबसे पहले दिन आपको किचन में बताया जाता है कि जाओ स्टोर से प्याज की पूरी लेकर आओ आप बोरी लेकर आते हो पील करते हो बीस किलो पच्चीस किलो प्याज को उसके बाद आप चॉप करते हो जी दे मेक यू डू इट फॉर अ वीक्स टाइम एट लीस्ट जब तक आप प्याज की साइंस को नहीं समझ जाओगे उसकी कटिंग टेक्निक्स को नहीं सीख जाओगे दो तीन बार हाथ नहीं कटवा लोगे तब तक आप किचन के काबिल नहीं हो ट्रू द सेकेंड प्रोसेस इज आजकल के जो बच्चे हैं दे वॉन्ट टू बी स्टार्स किताब उठाई नहीं होटल मैनेजमेंट की दे वॉन्ट टू वन टेलीविजन गोइंग ऑन टेलीविजन नीड्स अ लॉट ऑफ प्रैक्टिस अ लॉट ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस अ लॉट ऑफ नॉलेज अबाउट द फूड जब आपके पास नॉलेज होगी तो आपको अपने आप चांसेस मिल जाएंगे टू बी ऑन द टेलीविजन सो द ड्रिल इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट विशाल आई मस्ट से या इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज लाइक टू बी अ स्टार यू नीड टू नो समथिंग यू नीड टू बी मास्टर ऑफ समथिंग देन यू विल बी एबल टू आई विल से गाइड पीपल और इन्फ्लुएंस पीपल नाउ इट इज लाइक पीपल आर मोर ऑफ इन्फ्लुएंसर्स एब्सोल्यूट इन्फ्लुएंस लाइक 
according to Gen Z language. Absolutely. So you, if you want to influence people, you need to be real influencer about it. So, so how was your college experience? Like, do do you have faced any kind of a ragging or some like ragging is a very harsh word, but like th- there are things, na, kuch colleges ke hote hain norms. You need to follow that. So long time back when you were doing this, it was also there. Of course, uh, the fun times are always there in colleges with yeah. the seniors and the juniors as well. Yep. So I f- still remember it was my second day in college and my senior, he challenged me, challenged all the group rather. The guy who eats the most chilies will okay. win an award and will not be given punishments. Of course, there were punishments given by the seniors. Yeah. So I still remember eating 17 green chilies live there okay and i remember what happened after that two days i couldn't even <laughs> get up from a bad stomach oh, shit. so yeah of course there are bad times uh, there are times like that but they're fun times they later fun on times. later on your seniors become your best friends your juniors yeah. becomes your you know uh, uh, you you mentor them after that yeah so. pure, pure, totally i think that this is the way you make new bonds absolutely, absolutely. this is how they'll feel connected to yoga yeah, this guy is so so much into this he he got uh, so scattered or wo itna dar gaya ki usne wo bhi kha le he's yeah, a nice yeah. guy so let's let's not do Absolutely. this to him no i did it as a positive challenge because yeah. a new eating dairy product will save me from any kind of chilies though it was a little tough so yeah. i had 3 liters of lassi the same day oh. after that just to calm down my just to burning sensations in the yeah, stomach ease yeah ease your stomach ease or stomach, your yeah. throat because Absolutely. like it's too harsh i cannot take harsh, one yes. I, I cannot eat mm-hmm. one chili no, but it, it's fun as, yes, I, it's, it's always as fun. i can understand from your past experience you are telling me this but you are happy you're laughing on it it's a relishing event it's a relishing event it bonds you over with your seniors and your juniors yeah. it always happens like that okay so ye to bahut decent kind of ragging thi like the sweet kind of ragging i'll say right good to so after that like you have completed your education and your culinary school what was the next step like your internship and how this all went ahead uh, my internship was at lake palace udaipur okay so i had learned couple of languages english to achhi thi thi i learned some french words some spanish words about the food nice. so my chef came to know about that after he gave me that onions to chop <laughs> so after a week's time he calls me says ki bali can you really talk uh, some words of french for the food i said of course you know chicken is called as poulet or onion is called as oigno oh so that was i was very clear with it so chef gave me a job he was like okay fine i'll give you a job you have to stand behind the buffet so lake palace was uh, lake palace is a hotel that's a five star uh, deluxe yeah. property and uh, 99% of clientele is uh, you know all foreigners okay so they obviously ask about the food before they eat because we used to have indian buffet for the lunch yep. and the dinner as well so my job was to explain to all the customers about the buffet ingredients what should be eaten what should not be eaten i made okay. a lot of friends through that okay and the best part is my all my rest of the training for 3 months i was at the buffet itself explaining guests refilling and refueling the buffet okay which in my later life gave me a career that made me a caterer taking uh, care of the buffet made me a caterer and uh, i always took care of the buffet so so now i am uh, uh, like i can figure it out i can join those do- dots ki kahan se start hua and like your catering business flourished and then like i i came across then so okay so this is how it started it's always the destiny the destiny always draw the yeah. dots and later on it connects it so yeah. we we always have to be thankful to god for whatever is happening so sir like when like you was able to do it like you switched from your job to your business what was the journey like as a chef like because i want people to know your journey like why i want that because it's quite inspirational for me and i want people to see like okay being a chef it's it's not just a fancy job but it is fancy as well <laughs> yeah uh so uh, vishal when i completed my graduation yeah i always wanted to open a pub being from okay. ludhiana punjab i was always interested in opening my pub and my dad was willing for it always 
Okay. So my dad asked me one question that do you, can you trust someone whom we can take guidance how to open the pub? I was fresh from college. So I still remember my mentor and guru, Chef Sanjeev Verma. We okay. went to him. We asked him. I said, sir, uh, I want to open a pub in Ludhiana. Okay. What are the possibilities? He says, point blank. He sipped his tea and said, point blank. Mali, have you ever earned a rupee in business? I said, no. Do you know how to run a restaurant? I said, no. He said, then what are you doing? You're trying to waste your father's money without having zero experience into this line? I was like, sir, what should I do? He was like, join with me. I let you know when you're ready to go and switch over to business. Okay. So that was it. That was my first job. I joined uh, at Khyber. Khyber is a very popular restaurant in Sector 35. Okay. Now it's known as Pashtun. It was a small property, but it was a banquet restaurant and a, a pub itself. So I'm aware about it. You're aware about it. So we started, I started my job there. So from there onwards, I started uh, creating uh, things of increasing sales. Okay. So uh, basically, you were learning. You were not just learning culinary or improving your skills over it. You were improving as a businessman or absolutely. entrepreneur. Absolutely. Yeah. I used to be in the kitchen most of the times. Then my sh uh, my chef, my uh, the mentor, he used yeah. to he asked me, Ki, "How can we improve the sales of this place? Suggest me. This area is vacant." Yeah. How can we fill it? How can we commercialize it? So I started creating uh, food festival menus. I still okay. remember that was World Cup, uh, 1998. Okay. So I had created a menu on the World Cup. We had Sixers, we had Boundaries, we had Wickets. And that time it was so rare that yeah. it came in the newspaper. Okay. My second festival was, uh, look, everybody does Navratras. Yes. So that was very common. So right next to Navratras was the Shara. Okay. So I so I created a menu which was called as Ravan Ki Vapsi. Oh, so we nice. had a we had a banner right outside the restaurant yeah. that was Ravan Ki Vapsi, and this was just to amuse people that you know this can happen. So we had a menu uh, with uh, though it was a little controversial, but again we had a menu which had Surupna Ka Ginak, Hanuman Ji Ka Shirbat, Ravan Ke Das Mukh. So we had created menus on that, that terms and it was a super hit. It was again featured in the newspaper that time. So. Yeah, it, it is like, it's quite fresh according to that time, what you are talking about. So like rare people were focusing on marketing and you focused it like nailed it, like on point. Bang on point. Bang on point. Bang on point. And uh, then we had some people coming to the restaurant asking about it that, you know, why are you using Ravan's name? We are from Sri Lanka and all that. I said, I respect yeah. and love everyone. Yeah. So uh, it is it, it is a customary that uh, on October uh, in the Shara, uh, Ravanji yeah. is like, uh, you know, burned into effigies and he's born again. So that is how it can be burned the next year as well. Yeah. So, you know, that's Ravan Kivapsi was uh, one festival that, that was very hit. Okay, great. So you have been a great marketer as well. I've been trying my best under my guru's <laughs> guidance. <laughs> yeah. But like, so this is what I always tell to the chef aspirants that follow one guru. It could be a class uh, senior, it could be your teacher, it could be professor, it could be anybody because you know, one point can change your life. Definitely. One, one thing that clicks your mind for, uh, for me, it was my chef. Uh, he told me buffet. So it clicked me and I become a caterer. And then eventually, like everything, everything lands fell up, into place. Yes. Fell into place. Yeah. So, sir, so this is very like uh, sto inspirational story. So, as you have like promoted from a sous chef to chef, and then eventually, so what was the switch from where it all went started? Ki job se jo business ka switch wo kaha aya? Kaise aya? Uh, Vishal job se business to shuru se hi mera plan tha. One fine day what happened is ki we did a catering for the French, French embassy. So okay. it was an Adav's catering, Adav's hoti hai, snacks. So Adav's and champagne catering. So we okay. uh, paid that, matched that and the catering went very well. Okay. We were even uh, honored by the French ambassador. Nice. So I still remember the next day I was at, uh, in the restaurant and my senior chef calls up. He says, Ki, Bali, I have a news for you. I said, sir, even I have a news for you. He says, okay, you tell first. I said, no, sir, we'll meet and talk. 
Okay. He comes around. He says, "Okay, fine. You've been promoted to the top post, okay. and then your salary is almost three times from now, and you will be permanent on the role." And blah blah blah. He gave me all the yeah. facilities. So I was like, "Okay, chef. Now my turn." Uh, okay. The purpose that I was here is over. I'm leaving, and I'm starting my own business with your blessings. So wow. that was the time when getting a promotion. I was like, almost. I'm ready for my own business. So I left that. and started okay. my own business in ludhiana i think that was the perfect time i'll say because people figured out like how potentially rich you are and at that same very moment you when realize that isn't it the perfect timing uh, vishal it was all about passion it's yeah. always in about passion you know when you have passion about something it brews up jaise apne pressure cooker dekha yeah usme jaise passion brew up karta hai brew up ho ke ek din wo steam up ho jata hai Yep. And it gives you a whistle. When it gives you a whistle, yep. you have to let it go. You this have to right jump time. into your passion. Yes, yes, that's very important. Great. So, sir, as I know that the knowledge of food, the amount of knowledge regarding food you have, I just want you to tell our people that like from where this all started. As we talk about wellness and fitness, so I want I want to relate this to that. So let's start from the beginning. How did you get into this? That I want to do this. I want to create few recipes or a whole menu out of which is like Ayurvedic cuisine. As I know that you, it's your forte. How this all started? Like, what is your thought behind it? Ki kyun kiya gaya ye? Vishal, we are blessed to be born in India. True. because we come from a country that is good in yoga ayurveda astrology astronomy yep india has done a lot of research i'm talking about 5000 years back when you know there were no nasa there were no records there were no social media so from that time we've been following the perfect science of life which is called as ayurveda true Now, uh, when we talk about Ayurveda, it has a lot of influence in uh, Unani medicine as well. It has okay. a lot of influence in Sri Lanka. Okay. Though a lot of records of Ayurvedic cuisine has been, you know, demolished by the Mughals. Okay. And specifically the Britishers, because you know everybody whosoever came came with their own cooks. They came with their own styles of cooking. Yeah. For example, if we talk about uh, tandoor, tandoor is not Indian. It comes from Persia. Okay. so there are a lot of intermingling of food uh, happening everywhere so i can say indian cuisine is still evolving yeah. from the ayurvedic roots that we have now if we talk about the basic dry masalas that we use at home yeah you talk about cinnamon you talk about cardamom you talk about uh, fenugreek everything yeah. has a medicinal value india has yeah. india india always have been the hub of uh, spices spices and the spice are, route we are the one of the major exporters of spices we are the exporters and that led a lot of foreigners to come and invade this country because we have been so rich and blessed with the spices yeah. and the spices always had always had ayurvedic uh, roots in this yeah so sir i want you to explain people like as you know that what is ayurvedic cuisine to be very precise thoda ek in detail knowledge because as a layman i think people need to learn that being indians we are so fortunate but still as we have been invaded by people hamare bahut sare granth hamari bahut sari educational properties ko bahut harm kiya gaya hai usse kuch cheeze dab gayi hain i'll not say ki wo कभी बाहर नहीं आएंगी या बाहर नहीं आ रही पेस को स्लो हो गया बट खत्म तो नहीं हो सकती राइट right? तो उस पे आई वांट अ डिटेल फ्रॉम योर साइड सी आयुर्वेदा इज अ साइंस ऑफ लाइफ इट हैज लॉट ऑफ वेरियस अदर फैक्टर्स द बेसिक एंड द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट इज द फूड द कुकिंग मैथड्स ऑफ फूड हाउ वी शुड कंज्यूम फूड इट इज अ साइंस ऑफ हेल्थ So uh, Ayurvedic food is divided into three parts. Okay. One is sattvic, second is rajasic, third is tamasic. When we talk about sattvic food, it's more about the natural food, little processed or very little, uh, you know, cooked. 
Okay. It's always on the lighter side. It's kind of a raw food. It's a kind of raw food, but then it adds, uh, it should add to the temperament of the human being. Okay. The second is Ratsik food, as the name says. So it is a little complex food, uh, which is processed. For example, we talk about puris, bhatura, samosa. So that all comes under the Ratsik foods. Okay. And third is the Tamsik food. Tamsik food is what is non-vegetarian. Okay. We have food that has complexity in digestion. So that is the tamsic food. Tamsic food. So it is all according to our body temperaments that an Ayurvedic doctor can always tell what kind of foods we should have and what we can consume at what time. Okay. So like everything is important. Type, timing, and or concept factors and jo people need to take care of as they are consuming it unknowingly as the awareness nahi hai itni out so i want like to thoda sa ise logo ke liye easy kar de uh see vishal when we talk about uh, good foods ji jo hamare ko nature deti hai aur jis season mein deti hai wo foods hamesha acche mane jate hain agar hum koshish kare ki garmiyon mein saag ki saag aur makki ki roti khane ki to it will not be digested the temperament of body will increase so that is how it is done throughout the country that when we uh, go to the upper part of the country for example kashmir there is a lot of non vegetarians because uh, they need heat to survive in that cold yeah. weathers yep for the northern part it is more of wheat producers because wheat production is also there right kind of temperature is also there suitable temperature suitable temperatures yeah. there and when we go to the coastal areas it's more about fish it's more about coconuts it's more about rice rice so nature yeah. has already given us so many gifts throughout the seasons by and default should, it by is by default that. so we should appreciate it and we should eat more of that whenever we having any processed food when we whenever we having cream we are having clarified butters so they are hardly digested by the body yeah i think those are not hardly uh, the things those are not digested by the body it's it gets a very ill health to anyone who is consuming it yeah i th- like, that's the simple way you know that's what we teach and the pe- previously people visiting us they were also trying to say like don't consume anything just for the sake of consuming just for the sake of consuming yes right so you need to know what I, what you are eating what that will do to yourself exactly so that is called as conscious cuisine okay now conscious cuisine is a throughout process it is an again involving cuisine to get back to the roots okay so recently there was an effort by the indian federation of culinary association that's a top organization in the country Yes. to get the regional foods their seasons their dadi ma nani ma ki recipes to okay. restore the balance back whatever is left in our uh, learnings okay so the effort had a lot of uh, success so we've been able to gather a lot of things and uh, conscious cuisine is basically based on sustainability okay it is uh, based on slow cooking the principles of slow cooking always have been good yeah lately we've been having using refrigerators can, pressure can, cookers can you please explain that slow cooking for everyone out there as a layman's language every food needs a temperature to be cooked yes whenever we increase or decrease the temperature without having the scientific knowledge of it the food gets spoiled if we suppose we if we overcook something the nutritional value of that food goes away because vitamin yeah. c added in the beginning of anything will kill it okay so uh, adding the right ingredient at the right time goes into the slow cooking slow cooking is cooking over a period of time something like 8 to 10 hours okay yeah earlier as they used to cook saag saag or like dal makhani saag yeah. or dal makhani dal those makhani. things are uh, cooked through a long process long process because it takes time it absolutely takes time yeah so it is it was all scientific it was not just yeah. they were not having means to do it it was scientifically done ayurveda has been a scientific the most scientific way of cooking food which is followed throughout the world if you see indians uh, if you see early indians have been quite healthy compared to uh, americans who have been uh, obe- uh, who have been you know suffering from obesity or most ob- uh, they have been the most obese, obese community diabetic uh, yeah, high diabetic. blood pressure cancers so the lesser uh, processed food anybody has the more healthier they will stay yeah recently the study was out there where they were telling 
the people the countries mm-hmm. which are more dairy consuming yeah they face more joint problems Absolutely. problems related Absolutely. to bones in comparative to the people those who are not consuming dairy see animal dairy is one of the chief causes of inflammation in the yeah. problem the body starts with inflammation it will give you joint pains arthritis it can even lead to heart attack in a severe cases yeah. so avoiding animal protein or animal products is advisable to a certain level like veganism what we'll say yes veganism is good veganism is uh, mm-hmm. again it depends on what source uh, we are getting it from yeah. and the amount of processing that's being involved in converting that particular thing into a protein yeah so let's let's talk about protein like like i as i have been consuming protein from a very long time i have consumed all source of proteins like from where all i can get it so i want your expert take on it like there are like certain type of proteins like supplementation like meat protein plant based protein mm-hmm. veg protein what is your take on it as an expert because i want you to explain why this one is good or this one is better than this jab hum protein ki baat kar rahe hain vishal ji to agar to hum vegetarian hai to jitni daale hain pulses jisme ki beans aa jati hain yep. they are very good source of protein uske baad agar hum baat kare non vegetarian ki to non vegetarian mein seafood is very good red meat is very good fish is a very good source of protein it, it also has omega 3 yep right uh and third we talk about is plant based protein now plant based protein uh, is something from where protein is derived from the plants through processing yep so we can always increase and decrease the quantity of protein in a particular in a in a particular root or a stem depending upon how the scientific hybridization is done okay so is is it possible to like increase the amount of protein that specific plant has right it 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 can be done it can be it can done. but it, is it more sustainable or healthy if it is been driven by someone don't you think so we are like somewhere tweaking the nature absolutely there's a term called as gmos okay genetically modified organisms yeah so this is happening in lot of countries us has the maximum number of gmos though it is banned in russia so uh, this is playing with the nature and altering the nutritional contents of the food the color the shape the seasonal availability so which okay. is banned by a lot of countries i think we should avoid it f- in the longer run yeah. to see the harsher effects of it because this is something like which is not i i don't find it ethically correct like that's we are just changing the nature of the product you know vishal what is happening uh with the kind of food that we getting there a lot of pesticides there a lot of mixtures you know yeah. uh, urea is mixed in lot of dairy products yep. so if we talk about purity the amount of purity that is there has been lost in lot of cases yeah so gmo has been another added factor over and all over where and food all, yeah. has been genetically modified to give it a better taste better look better yield better pro- productivity So I think we should be very careful while uh, dealing with the nature. We need to choose our food first, right? Like from what kind of a source it is being driven, and then like eventually we are eating it. Absolutely, the more natural, the more organic, the more uh, raw food we can consume without much processing. I wouldn't say that eat everything raw, but you can have a very light processing. Yes, the minimal processing you have, the more good ingredients you will be able to consume. Absolutely. This is what in a layman's language I'll say. Absolutely, absolutely. जितना process कम हो जाएगा, वो उतना nature के पास होगा, वो जितना nature के पास होगा, वो उतना healthy होगा. हाँ, ये वही science है कि जो Ayurveda बताती है कि come near to sattvic food, you will live healthy, live longer. Yeah, true. I believe that and I don't doubt it. But sir, don't you think so कि ये सिखाया ही नहीं जा रहा, ये बताया ही नहीं जा रहा. what 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 is the right time when you like according to you like when this should be introduced matlab aajkal logo ko pata hi nahi hai kisi ko nahi pata file se mostly logo ko nahi pata i'll not say kisi ko nahi pata i don't want to offend people as like mostly logo ko nahi pata so what do you think like how can ye kaise correct kiya ja sakta hai 
See, food is one of the most common topics of the world. True. For a country like India, that comes with Ayurvedic background, food should be introduced at the age of 12 years. It should be introduced as a subject in the schools. Yeah. With uh, different chapters or different, you know, uh, curriculums every year. One year should be given to the farmers. Chandarana, Jai Jawan, Jai Kisan. Ji. Wo bahut sahi hold karta hai. Yeah. Jitne maare kisan hai, wo itni mehnat se khana banate hai, khana produce karte hai. And uh, end of the day, uske unko equal returns nahi mil paate. Effort over result is Effort like result minimal. So first of all, we need to understand, we need to put it into the children's mind that a farmer is just like a hero. We need to glorify the farmers. Yeah, we need to heroify them. We need to heroify them. That is one thing. And second thing is the basic study of crop. The crop in that state, particular state, should be done by the state government. They should be introduced into the food subject. And everybody should know how the crop is grown. What are the better ways of growing the crop? And then there should be one chapter pertaining to pesticides. What harmful effects can pesticides do to our bodies Body. and to the health system throughout in this country? Nice. So you have given a lot of thought on it. Absolutely. You, you have a prepared project around it. Absolutely. Absolutely. We even discussed with the president of the Indian Federation of uh, Culinary Association. Wow. So there are proposals to introduce it to the uh, Ministry of Education and we might put it into, uh, you know, working. So that's really great. That's like, I think that's the perfect time where like a student, I think like 12 is an age after that you remember everything you remember it scientifically yes. absolutely as well right absolutely. like after the age of 12 you remember things like clearly in your brains and at that very moment if you introduce such subjects as an educational subject because you need to learn what you are eating the because food, food is, is basic item. food basic. is basic we need to learn about food at a very young age we yeah. need to learn about the nutritional qualities of food we need to learn about the uh, temperament of food, what goes right, what goes wrong, what is the storing process, what is the producing process. When we know all that, I think 80% of our diseases will go away. True, true. I believe that. But sir, I also want to ask you, like, there is like nowadays as we, India is a developing country and Indians are everywhere around the globe. So uh, in the progress, which is right, right? Which is correct. We are evolving. We are learning every day. We are distributing our culture, learning few things from them. In that, we have lost importance for our own things, right? In a right amount of consumption of everything is right. It's right, yeah. But as in a acceptance or in a race where we are running towards the Western culture, we are bringing Western food here where the countries, they are not even rich in formation of cultivation as well. Absolutely. I'll say unki basic crop bhi itni healthy nahi hai. Absolutely. Vahaan se fruits ko, veggies ko, yahaan laya ja raha hai. So what is your take on it? Like, is it good? Or the scientific uh, reason behind it? Not just like my personal preference is not there. Is it like the science behind this? I want to learn the science behind this. Uh, see, Vishal, every food has a shelf life. Imagine getting wheat from America, that too polished wheat, it's got refined flour bana ke laya jata hai pe. Aur uske baad usko sell kiya jata hai burgers bana ke, which is not doable. Yeah. Any food that expires its shelf life is as good as a slow poison for the body. So eating fresh, I think uh, other than fast food, they should be slow foods. Other than fast foods, they should be fresh foods. Yeah. which should uh, actually get the local uh, cultivation, the local crop and make foods out of that. That is more important. I think government should even uh, make laws that you mm -hmm. have to buy local from that area. If, yeah. if you have to run that kind of fast food or any, any, any chain that is coming from anywhere in the world. So you, you need to stick to the native place? Absolutely, from we need to stick to the native place because our DNA cannot understand the foreign intervention of food and neither our bodies are capable of digesting them. So one of those ingredients or something which you think is like very overrated and they have like nothing too good about it but 
people are glorifying it and marketing it well like do you know such stuff like what is your take on it yeah of course uh, one of the foods that i want to talk about is olive oil lot of countries lot of italian countries is basically the american country who's doing the marketing for italians to yeah. sell the olive oil in third world third world countries so what they do is they uh, they discourage the use of our basic oils and fats for example desi ghee has been discouraged for a lot of time yeah and there were fake scientific studies saying that it adds to you know heart attacks and all these things so what started happening was people started frying in olive oil uh, okay. olive oil for your information has the lowest smoking point so whenever okay. it is put to flame it will ro- go rancid it will burn okay and the kind of food after that we consuming the food that is made in it will give us bad cholesterol okay so uh, compared to that uh, when we talk about desi ghee when we talk about sarso ka tel they have the highest smoking points so they are the fittest oils to be fried things in and consume and yeah. consume of course and uh, they are much more healthier than what are we eating of what the media shows you see everywhere we can see is a foreign media everywhere yeah. you see kfc mcdonalds pizza hut everybody is selling their product so the, jo dikhta hai wo bikta hai so we should be very so, very so uh, they are just like marketing their products so well that they manipulated us so well that absolutely we have that inclination towards things and we started like discarding our own stuff so in this country anything can be manipulated on the name of health so yeah. that is what america understands that all the other countries can be manipulated on the studies on the fake studies based on health so whenever you say that this thing is harmful for you there have been study in america or this place that university this university so what comes out is the sales of the product that they want to sell exactly so that's how the world goes around and i must say again the pharma industry of us and the fast food industries they are closely chained together one is okay. supporting the other because if one is there the second will also be there if you have bad food you'll fall sick if you fall sick you need medicines if you need medicines unka ghar chalta hai bhai aur kuch nahi chahiye so basically they are making business out of our health absolutely that is what is happening so like taking people's health on stake keeping that in mind consciously that what they are doing they'll do this they'll implant this slowly and then eventually other part will take it over absolutely this is horrifying This right. is horrifying. That's a horrifying truth. Yeah, it's a horrifying truth. It's a ugly truth. It's ugly truth. Which is like everyone can relate. Who must be listening this? They can relate to it. कि जी मैंने पहली बार कहाँ देखा था? Ads, ads कहाँ आ रही हैं? हमारे TVs पे, हमारे shows में. And nobody is taking filter on it. Nobody is taking like fact check on it. Like is it true what they are saying? Hmm. it's just like okay ek study hui thi usme aisa bola tha and then blah 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 happened yeah no nobody does a check on that all we all there is we no to, another quality because, check yeah, right because uh, the easier way is to go for the temptation they tempt us the easier way to go is to go for the temptation and have it and have the bite this is how they lure you na like if you will start consuming this you will stay fit and they'll show that the people fittest people in the industry they are marketing it so eventually i think okay it's like there must be few brands who were doing justice they were actually serving good mm. i'll not say every brand is yeah. doing bad but we need to be very conscious about what we are consuming we need to be conscious about we what need we to learn eating. how yes. to read labels i think that is the more important part of it absolutely it does but then uh, there are different names for the labels they they manipulate that as well yeah they are so smart yeah actually they are marketers they marketers they they play tricks they always play tricks so they like like kaan idhar se nahi pakad lo hmm. to ghuma ke udhar se pakad lo naam badal do sugar ko kisi code ke naam se code replace kar do jaise yes. aajkal chal raha hai that is what so, has been happening yeah that's what been happening so i think it needs to be corrected at the root when yeah. we put food as a subject when we glorify the farmers it's when very we important educate, to glorify the farmers when we I educate think. students about the nutritional value of the food when we educate them about pesticides when we tell them what happens when we eat something when we tell them about what are empty calories so that is how i think the health case in this country will improve mm-hmm. drastically as like 
अकॉर्डिंग टू मी लाइक आवर कार्डो लाइक इट्स वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेड एंड सेलिब्रिटीड फूड वाई इज इट हेयर it is here because it needs to be sold here it is a fashion there's something called as fashion foods yeah if we talk about jamun yes jamun is more a super food than avocados yes it is it is rich in vitamin c it has a lot of minerals it helps you against diabetes so yeah, i think it's, it's like a super what, it food has all the properties of anti diabetes absolutely it's a super food in itself yeah so i think foods like those we need to recognize those kind of foods those are produced locally they have equal amount of uh, nutritional impact compared to what is coming from america or italy or anywhere in the world yeah because as you have explained like people need to eat native food because that is designed or made to suit us absolutely well absolutely so this is how like if let's talk about punjab hmm. like we have Uh, cultivation of wheat so it is one of the finest yes it's one of the finest but now what is happening is there's a lot of adulteration happening everywhere so if you talk about wheat the purity of wheat until unless we don't source it to the farmer that's why i again say that be friend the farmer farmers can be the best friends they are the most humble and the nicest people in the country and if we uh, be friend them get get one of the best of their produce i think uh, it's again a long way to go to, for a healthy life and this is the, these are the reason farmers are protesting yeah they they are pressurized under a lot of circumstances so i think yeah. it is it is fair because, enough to stand against the because they do the such a hard work yeah for Absolutely. it and then eventually everything is on stake right mm-hmm. even if weather is not even in their favor the whole crop goes bad yeah goes bad it depleted the quality mm-hmm. unki puri mehnat chali jati hai even after doing all this keeping all such stuff on stake phir bhi unke effort over result nahi milta nahi result hi milta kyun kyunki hum hamari hi cultivation ko actual mein appreciate nahi karte exactly jab hum bahar ka khana khana shuru karte hain to hamari apni cultivation jo hai wo suffer karti hai yeah so you know the exporting cost the shelf life everything adds up and it finally results into financial loss and health loss as well i think health loss is a bigger loss absolutely health loss is a bigger loss you can attain finances uh, once you are healthy but once you lost it no absolutely. financing can get it back get it back yes that's right so that is the main thing which we need to be very conscious about and learn hmm. and prefix that in our mind so i think that the way you said it the way you planned it i think that is the perfect approach that fine let's teach everyone from the starting when they start evoluting when a kid is conscious about okay if i am getting my pocket money i am buying candies and all that so what sort of candies i need to consume at at the time mm-hmm. there were candies those were like made from like true ingredients Emily and his aunt did. Yeah, I remember that. They they were like good for your appetite, na? Mm-hmm. No? Yeah. After having food, if you have it, so it's good for your digestion. So in a way, you are like killing your cravings as well, and that is good for your health. Now it's just a sugar shot. It's a sugar shot. Actually, it's a sugar rush. The it's more sugar, sugar rush you have, the more happier you feel temporarily. Yeah. And then you come down with you know a lot of other pancreatic problems. Yep, this is the only reason kids are getting diabetes. Diabetes, yes. Like in our country, which is one of the blessed, because we have all the weathers, mm-hmm. we have great rains. Eventually, still after having all these resources, still if we are facing such problem, then there is a problem with us. Absolutely, there is. see uh, if if you see there has been a void nobody is talking about good food everybody is after money everybody is showcasing their product some chain is coming from somewhere and doing yeah. stuff but what is happening with the health of the kids is very very uh, you know disastrous if you see a kid is not even eating two meals in a week at his home so that is what is bringing the graph the health graph down health graph everywhere down. and if you look at 10 years from now they're going to be Uh, n number of cases for diabetes for hypertension at early age uh, then cancerous because uh, cancerous uh, you know results because there are a lot of processed food that is going on 
we can so see that we now have as well. Yeah, whatever we're having at the at most of the ha- uh, fast foods is a processed food, and they're highly processed with the addition of chemicals to make it, you know, uh, to give it a more shelf life. So I think that is a disaster. So sir, like, what I want to ask, it's a question. Like, I always have in my mind, how, how we can choose? Okay, like. at our own places now i know what all th- are the ingredients we are putting in kaise ban raha hai we can work on slow cooking we can learn right and we working on it as well my, from uh, what i'll talk about my own family we have evolved a lot mm-hmm. from the previous time what we were consuming what are we what because we are consuming right now mm. uh, being conscious and even my mother learned from us right at this age she is even even she is trying to change something i will say it's commendable so we have like we flip our grains we we don't stick to one hmm. and all that which is happening just explain me something because you are the best person to do that how to check if i'm going out to have something to have a food i'm going to a restaurant how to keep a check on it like okay i am sensing this okay this is happening is they, they are serving the healthy food or the clean food how to judge it uh whenever we go to a place yeah. that is not native to us first thing we need to do is connect with the locals get a chance to have the food of the nearby villages or the guys who who are selling traditional foods mostly traditional foods do not go wrong compared to eating in the fast foods traditional foods will always uh, give you the freshest produce for example uh, this doesn't uh, you know sound wrong wherever there is more rush go and eat there because what happens is ki they have a faster turnover and yeah. their uh, food is all the more fresh then basic things like hygienic uh, you know conditions yeah. and how the food is served how it's covered how it's stored so all things have to be kept in mind but yes go and uh, eat the local food from wherever you go chef manjeet singh gill the top chef of india ji uh, is in process of launching an app which will exactly tell us in whatever part of the country we are okay. they'll give you the local foods they'll give you uh, this gives you information about the local foods the season they should be eaten and where exactly to get that and that is uh, purely based on a non profit organization nice so something like that can do wonders to our knowledge about food for example if i'm going to trivandrum i don't know what to eat there i just open the app i uh, log in my uh, location and it will give me a 10 kilometers radius of uh, what kind of food is available wow. what is the fresh produce of that season and uh, that actually would work wonders yeah that will be like a great help for everyone absolutely right like if i don't know anyone i'm just traveling by i need to stay there for a night or a day so i i want to eat something i am a vegetarian as i uh, i even face problem while doing that if if you consume non veg so that's very that's quite easy for you to travel and have food and in comparative to a vegetarian person absolutely so to find the variations find the right option it's tough so such app will like definitely will help everyone not absolutely. just me it absolutely it does everyone does so it's a night move I and if you see if, if you go uh, abroad to southeast asian countries you will see the quality of fruit is very good yep and uh, to our surprise 70% of fruit goes from india yes the the reason behind that is ki hamari aadat hai hum jayenge fruit seller ke paas are nahi bhaiya sab bahut mehenge isko kam lagao ye bahut mehenge isko kam karo so what happens is the best and the topest quality is exported to other countries where they get good value and we because of our negotiating habits and habits. practices uh, we get probably b or c quality food at lot of uh, fruits especially at lot of places Yeah. so i think we need to uh, we need to improve on that and actually give the farmer of right to what he's producing yeah that's very important so if like that's honest as well as a businessman if i am producing something which worth 100 bucks per kg and someone is not giving 50 bucks in my own country definitely i'll export that somebody who's you know who wants the right quality will find you anywhere in the world if yes. you serve the right quality the guy will come and find you out and give you the price that you want 
that is the same experience i had in dubai as i was i am i'm like very fond of eating fruits so i was like they are the one of the finest like how because this country is not even producing not any even sort of yes. pro- <laughs> they are not having cultivation how they are sourcing such a nice fruit buckets and like even after keeping that in a cold storage they are so fresh like how then i was like okay fine we are the one who is exporting them and they're eventually not getting in absolutely. in our own country absolutely so that is happening everywhere and that's happening in singapore dubai malaysia everywhere the things those been exported from india you talk about rice also it's been exported to different parts yeah so the best of yield is always exported out because it, they get they get a good price for it because people value it and because we people aren't. value it yes and we the only thing is give we will spend money on cars on other necessity that we think is a necessity luxury yeah. but i think food is one of the most necessitous luxury that we should spend food on money on yeah that that makes sense as well that makes a lot of sense like we need to invest everything on ourselves absolutely then we'll be able to enjoy foreign cars absolutely right absolutely right. <laughs> falling sick and <laughs> driven in a mercedes or yeah, uh, the range over doesn't no sense. help yes I go okay fine I am a diabetic and I have a range that makes no sense that makes no sense I am fit and I am driving a Tata I love it absolute I'm making India making India <laughs> yeah no no even now Range Rover is making India if you know yeah it's like That's because Tata's got the power uh, yeah so it's like still we got the power India. <laughs> India's got the power India got the power like there are people those who are actually working for our country mm-hmm. and I really appreciate that so I have a question. as we are talking about patriotism so i need to ask you like why you are wearing your chef coat as you you kind of wear anything like why you choose this i love wearing my chef coat it makes me feel more responsible towards my job towards my work and towards my country yeah so i'll tell you one incident uh, i was traveling to singapore on a conference and i was already coming from an event so i didn't have time to change so the same way i took the flight and my stopover was in sri lanka okay so sri lanka doesn't give you visitors visa just like that because you need to have because i had to stay over for around 6 to 8 hours so i was like you know give me a visa for 6 hours something i might wish to go out so the embassy officer says sir we we do not do that and then so you don't have a hotel booking so i didn't need a hotel for like Two hours or three hours. Okay. So I just went in and requested him. So he saw my coat, and uh, there was this national, f- my national flag. And then he said, uh, "Sir, uh, are you going on purpose?" I said, "Yes, I'm going on. I'm representing my country in Singapore for some culinary uh, judgments." Okay. So I was like, "All right, sir. On that condition, I'll grant you the visa." So he gave me the visa instantly. I was so happy and proud of you know being an Indian. this that, is the power of our this flag. is the power of our you know flag that can it, it can take you anywhere and yes. you are respected definitely so uh, wearing a chef coat is a matter of passion matter of pride for me always and especially with the india flag on it and like it's to be honest like i think it's like wearing your uniform it's just like civil officials like absolutely. police like absolutely. it's a pride absolutely it's a pride it's wearing a uniform like police this is what you doctors are. lawyers everything so yeah this is what like made you what you are right now absolutely absolutely so it's all because of this coat and uh, of course gone are the days when you know the cooks used to be called as bawar cheese or something it is one of the most you know prized uh, profession ठीक है इससे बढ़िया प्रोफेशन कहाँ हो सकता है जहां पे आपको खाना खाने के पैसे मिले खाना जजमेंट के पैसे मिले एंड खाना सर्व करने के पैसे मिले her food is to like what we can say is like food is connecting people no, always right it's the most joyful time of your day you enjoy it with food absolutely you do so you are stressed up what you are doing i like i'll have a good meal that will like cheer you up yes cheer, cheer you up. up and like food is actually like a vibe itself it changes everything it soothes you and it has all the medicinal value it can do wonders it can do wonders depending upon the right kind of food that we having yeah the source of food has to be found out that's very important 
where do we source the food from how do we cook it how do we store it everything makes a lot of difference because food is a very delicate issue yeah so is our metabolisms if we have something wrong we fall sick immediately definitely yeah. so i think food uh, being a food technician or a food expert is as serious as any other business because we are playing with the health of life so sir like switching like as you opt ayurvedic cuisine conscious cuisine you have started that from where did your this started like okay everyone is cooking everyone as being into culinary or being a chef your whole soul focus is to make tasty food absolutely right? absolutely how you turn or the another turn or you saw the another path out of it like nahi nahi mujhe the healthy banana hai ya mujhe aisa banana hai ya mujhe healing properties wala food banana hai ye kahan se aaya see vishal at the core of my heart i always believed food is a medicine and i have to heal people with my food that's the best i can do of course serving nutritional food adding uh, much more value to it He, by healing people is all that my dream is so like what ignites you like where did this all started like, there there must be a point right you want to be a chef right so you started you learned everything right no 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 happened good see coming from a doctor's family wo andar se to aapke dna mein to rahega na to heal people to see people happy that to see people the, healthy yeah. so that is where it ignited and then I, when i learned about ayurvedic cuisine it actually opened my eyes that we have everything in our system why do we need to go out why do we need to follow uh, you know uh, foreign fashion foods we need to stick to our own roots that is much more important that's much more valuable if right? we'll be able to achieve that it's like enough it's a way food is subject uh, food is uh, introduced as a subject in junior classes i think we will reach there in the coming 10 to 15 years i think people are learning it rapidly and they are even accepting it what, what do you think like uh, is it happening uh, no shall what has happened is the ayurvedic documents we had a lot of them have been destroyed by the invaders a very few of them have been uh, you know stored in tibet in the tibetan manuscripts okay so uh, the documentation of indian food unfortunately is not there so whosoever is teaching whatever is teaching is you know best to their own capacity or their own intentions of teaching it so we need to document the food first that is more important of how right. basic things are cooked what is the time what is the temperature you know uh, what is the way of storing what is the way of you know processing it or producing it rather so everything is as important as you know uh, doing anything else i think that according to me what i think is like yeah changes changes are there people are changing even government is supporting this such events because they even know that the native people those who are living in the country if they'll be fit physically mentally eventually they'll lead a country to a better end So it's a win-win for everyone. Absolutely, and there are uh, there is now a creed of you know Gen Z uh, Gen Zs who are experimenting into the lost uh, food uh, productions as well. Okay. They're getting into that the crops that have been you know uh, ex- uh, vanished from you know quite a lot of time. So they are trying to reproduce that, recreate, recreate it to the closer uh, form of it. and which is uh, absolutely much more nutritional to what it was for example if you see the example of brown rice brown rice came into existence only you know around 20 years back it was lost long time back yep. so it has been revived by you know uh, a lot of enthusiasts and we must uh, congratulate and encourage those uh, farmers who are doing all this yep so like in eventually in last 10 years the race of being like organic foods clean growing is like it is also there now absolutely so technology can, advancements if we if we take it towards the right side it will go yeah. it will go in the right because side. people are getting aware people are getting if aware. you are getting aware or people are getting aware they'll ask for it and i'm sure your expertise uh, artificial intelligence in yes. coming time will really you know uh, come out with ways of producing the right kind of pro- crop serving it at the best kind of temperature so i think uh, that is what is uh, needed now i think now. Th- this is the best approach we can have 
ओके इफ वी आर एवल्यूटिंग इफ यू आर डूइंग वी आर एक्सपेरिमेंटिंग समथिंग वी आर क्रिएटिंग ए आई उसका यूज कैसे करना है किस डायरेक्शन में करना है rather than like mimicking people and like doing that that, that is also important that is a fun part that is entertainment purpose and that is very important i ag- agree with it but i think like designing new things mm. okay like this is the altitude this is the latitude of the land these are the crops which are being grown what is the right time to consume this getting such data out of ai or getting this will bring another level of evolution yeah it is a level level of understanding another yeah. level of health that is needed so i think these kind of things it will take a little while but i think we are going there we'll reach there in a soon a while india is going there and i believe it and i want it and from my side whatever is possible i'll keep on doing it so this is the only reason we started this channel we were like we were into the planning of like how can we do this how can we do this so eventually we land up like okay fine let's do this let's take initiative like humko bahut kuch mila hai hmm logo se bahut sikha hai sabne bahut sikhaya we have been blessed society ko kya diya wapas it's a time to give back it's time to give back so it it was always time to give back eventually मैं ये कहूंगा कि मेरी आज आंख खुली है मैंने आज से शुरू कर दिया है वे यू डूइंग इट और जितनी राइट काइंड ऑफ नॉलेज वी कैन गिव टू पीपल आई थिंक देर इज देर इज नो बिगर गिव बैक टू द सोसाइटी सर आई थिंक वी आर सो ब्लेस्ड आर कंट्री इज सो ब्लेस्ड एंड पीपल दो नो थिंग्स दे आर सो अवेयर अबाउट देयर ओन सब्जेक्ट एंड i think they just need a platform to educate people because right now it's uh, how you tell it there is a saying i always tell this to all my siblings or my friends or my younger friends i'm making like all the gen z people i meet out there is like you need to be very conscious about the content you are consuming whatever you are consuming you will become like that absolutely in a way or two hmm. if you listen to a soothing music that will soothe your mood yeah, absolutely eventually if you are consuming so out there there is like information out there on internet 80% of the information has no backup absolutely doesn't have yeah nobody is keeping hmm. a quality check or a fact check behind this okay this person is saying th- something how why is he capable of delivering such stuff ye aapko bata sakte hain ye itne educated hain is field mein ye inhone koi research kiya hai nobody is doing a fact check some random guy or female or they are guiding people but eventually they are not learning okay this can be a business model if you are so smart you can influence people influence them to a right way absolutely teach them something get right. the right kind of information research it then spread it then spread it's, it's it. much more important work yes. on it work on it okay if i know something with a fact i'll tell you if i don't know i'll invite people the way i invited you because i cannot tell people like these are the ingredients eat this this will do wonders to you no i think you are the expert but it's a huge learning process for you as well vishal i mean yes. the kind of uh, information and the right kind of knowledge that you're gaining is tremendous it's the absorption capacity i'll say so if i'm sitting here and i'm trying to learn it's the thing i will take carry forward this Absolutely. is what the wisdom i'll provide to people eventually to my family i'll say so this is what i'm learning and i'm always glad whosoever visits us jo bhi hame aa rahe hain hame bata rahe hain hame knowledge de rahe hain hum bahut thankful hain unke liye it's not just me who is specifically learning something it's just like i love my country absolutely i am a very patriotically strong guy i believe it mujhe lagta hai meri duty hai sabko batana meri duty hai sab tak words travel karwana 
this is what i want to give back to my country so that was the only reason behind we kept we kept it in like we'll talk it in english or hindi hindi so that goes so out that everywhere everywhere hmm. sabko pata chale this was the whole sole purpose behind it ki yaar information se koi vanchit na rahe rest you are take on it you want to learn it or not meri duty mein kar raha hu and i'll keep on doing it absolutely fantastic see indians are everywhere Yep. Indians are gone everywhere. You talk about Google, Around you talk globe. about Amazon, you talk about all the top positions in the country. India is progressing. India will touch the heights very soon. So uh, you talk about Indian food as well; it's going places. You talk about yoga; it is going places. So India is a fantastic country to be in, I think, and we are yeah. blessed to be born here. Yeah, people are visiting India for their treatments. Absolutely. Yeah, like after being like at not one of the. biggest in terms of land peace we have but the richest richest in resources in resources human resources otherwise and ayurveda yes. knowledge astrology astronomy everything so this is something we need to acknowledge about our own self Absolutely. our country needs to learn our own self so this is something which keeps you alive alive absolutely So, so i have one another question which is like again so i have learned one thing from you from the very beginning i even said that to you i have said that couple of time that i have never seen you angry i have never seen you losing your calm i learned that from you. i i really when when i was quite young i used to have no hold on my anger as even i used to ask like how you maintain that how to keep it because i always want to fix it it was not just i was justifying my mm. anger i always wanted to fix it i know there are people out there mere jaise that master tip you gave me i want you to like tell people like because mental fitness is also very important it's very important yes it's, it's the most important thing so vishal do you know what is the most infectious thing in the world it's a smile yes when you give someone a smile you'll get a smile back you'll get a smile so no matter whatever the circumstances are just be at your best give a smile and the solution will come to you from the other person who's angry at you so a lot of time this happens we are into situations which we cannot control which are you know under somebody else's domain all we can do is wait patiently and smile that's it like as you have like lead one of the world's biggest catering right it you you have that title with you so maintaining that maintaining the peace out of it like okay this is happening everything is on toes everyone is working like hundreds of people are working and i have seen you like ho jayega koi baat nahi fir kya ho gaya and that is commendable like what is the key behind it like how you deal with it the key is to stay calm do your best and wait for the result it will always turn out to be positive that's what it is and uh, as long as uh, you know human nature is concerned i'll uh, i'll i'll tell you an incident from you know i was catering to the world chefs you know this is catering to world chefs is one of the biggest challenges because we had chefs from around 70 countries okay and uh, so there's something called as world heritage cuisine summit so that happens after every 4 years in a different country depending upon you know uh, the heritage of that country has to be restored uh, restored and then there are a lot of other countries who participate and they get their regional foods which are displayed to the public there so in 2018 we had uh, world heritage cuisine summit and fortunately i was the official caterer to it so you can okay. imagine serving food to chefs from 70 countries there were around 1000 people and uh, arranging for everybody's ingredients doing you know uh, setting up their utensils small kitchens at the area was one uh, big challenge so one of the incident that I remember that we had uh, chef uh, cornella from uh, canada she is the vice president for world chefs that's a very big position so she was standing near our punjabi buffet okay so i just asked her i said uh, should i chef should I, should i suggest you to eat something she's no 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 i'm vegan i cannot have and have anything so you know on the menu we had rajma 
we had uh, sarson ka saag with desi ghee we had naan uh, okay. we had uh, amritsari chane okay we had dal makhani so you can imagine in india we cannot prepare things just like that and vegan especially in the north part yep you know, which is very well known it was held in amritsar yep the the kind of purity of you know food and water and ingredients in amritsar is you know uh, believed to be that it's high. most it's very high so i suggested chef and i just told her i explained her every dish you know uh, detail by detail so i i went off to see other chefs and the by, by the time i just came i just asked her i said uh, can you just uh, try one bite on my recommendation so she took a little bit of a spoon of saag a spoon of uh, rajma and a spoon of chana yeah. and then she then i gave her a makki ki roti and a naan just to okay. try with it like this is the bread you this is the bread you eat with it that's what i told her so i I went away for three, four minutes to, you know, see other arrangements. Yep. The moment I came back, I was about mm-hmm. to ask the chef. I saw her sitting with a plate full of saag, okay. with three naans, Damn. and you know, a, a bit of dal makhani. I was like, chef, how's your food? She says, fantastic. I never had such a delicious food ever. So uh, I always take pride in, you know, the kind of this food is, that we have. The food this heritage. Is commendable. We have. This is commendable. The food heritage we have is amazing. yeah so It we we must take i i must i must say to all the youngsters as well we must take pride in our regional foods that is very important being a chef that is a message the more we can stick to our roots the healthier we'll be the happier we we'll, we will be because you know food always plays with our temperaments so sir i think like as you have been like catering you have been like you helped people you help the one of the biggest institute in punjab which is into the health federation the way are like budding uh, aspirational doctors are coming out from them so you lead the catering for them you have been serving them for like 3 4 years i think yeah, like you did it for of like of course yes i yeah. i did it for 3 years you did it for 3 years what was your experience about it like because in a hospital so there are people those who are already reaching you out with a problem hmm. and eventually they are getting treated and you are serving them food it's a big duty you cannot have away with their food you cannot do like it's about someone's life and death absolutely absolutely so taking that on your shoulder how did they like that happen like and eventually how this all rolled out uh i've been you know fortunate to be uh, given this opportunity to uh, be the caterer official caterer of uh, of uh, you know a reputed hospital it is around uh, more than 100 room property yeah and uh, the foods are so specific food is such delicate thing that we cannot even play extra with the grams of it you know somebody who has a kidney problem you know has to be careful with potassium somebody is a high blood pressure somebody is diabetic yeah. somebody is allergic to certain food so specifications are very important minutest detail to even seconds and grams are very important when it comes to timing uh, the mixtures so it yeah. was it was good adventurous job and i love adventures wherever they are and food adventures always good and uh, we've been blessed by uh, you know god and nature that uh, everything went really very good and smooth so it was a learning i think it it's it a up. whole lot of different ball game for you like okay making a tempting and of course tasty from food from from commercial dal makhani with you know lot yeah. of butter and you know other other promoting, relatives promoting promoting punjabi cuisine to the world and then eventually then like making food for people those Absolutely. who are already su- suffering and Absolutely. providing them right amount of food exactly. which help them in healing exactly so it's so, a total different game yeah we had we had introduced lot of uh, dishes during that time we had okay. uh, uh, beetroot raita that was quite healthy and you know the color is so appetizing then we had uh, even made adrak ka halwa so this was given once in you know a week and in very limited quantity for you know some patients to Few taste cli- but it is an ayurvedic food it cured a lot of people and the same thing happened during corona also we were making we were still making adrak ka halwa okay. and uh, there were a lot of people who specially came during pandemic for us to you know please can you make it make it for us because you know uh, it has uh, the adrak when we talk about ginger ginger it has a lot of qualities for example you know it is anti cancerous 
it is uh, anti inflammation and drink. so this would uh, clear all the cough that you have any congestion that you have it and it instantly has clears all that. that detoxification properties yeah of course well. it has detoxification detox properties and especially when we add desi ghee to it okay. it becomes a boon desi ghee otherwise is a boon because it's yeah. it's a super food it's a super if food. you see uh, nowadays what is what is happening is the joint problems are happening people are losing their hair eyes yeah. are going so the best kind of food to have in the right proportion is desi ghee okay it so is like rich it is rich with vitamin you, d yeah according to your recommendation if you are using any sorts of oil while the process of cooking definitely in a adequate amount you are not telling anyone to overdo it or overuse absolutely, it absolutely. in a adequate amount adequate amount yes so go for more of desi ghee and like uh, sunflower oil right it depends the oil we need to check the smoking point of the oil the that, higher the that, smoking point yeah it's more appropriate for indian kitchen if you want to have salad just add olive oil to it because it's a cold salad yep and it's a cold oil so we can have it but if you ask me to fry samosa in olive oil that's a disaster that's, yeah <laughs> as being punjabis we can do that yeah as you know no there was a vendor who was doing all that he was doing a vada pav uh, and the vadas were fried in olive oil he advertised for it quite a uh, little time i will not okay. name it so i just went to him and said you know this will go rancid very fast and you're playing with people's health so then i showed him the fact and he was like oh my god he says okay fine i'll mend my ways that's that's really nice that's really sweet of him that he accepted that he accepted yes i think kuch galat nahi hai aap kuch naya try kar rahe ho hmm. theek hai aapne kiya you are trying to fix a problem But eventually, if you learn someone is making you learn it, uski acceptance hona bhi usse zada zaruri hai. So, uh, as a chef, I make it a point to suggest even the smaller vendors, though I am into consultancy as well, of uh, restaurants and hotels. But to the smaller vendors, to the cart, to the cart guys who cannot, you know, uh, pay money for your suggestions, we always make it a point to improve one or two of them. create fortune for ourselves but they are dependent on us so if i find somewhere ki injustice ho raha injustice ho raha unke sath to i need to stand for them so i take it as no, that's, a like that's a, that's a very good effort actually that's, yeah, that's so i point. take this like this is my duty i need to give this back to the society so what is your take on like what do you think like okay i as सब ने मुझे इतना कुछ दिया दिस सोसाइटी हैज गिवन यू सो मच फेम नेम एंड फॉर्च्यून सो व्हाट यू आर लाइक व्हाट आर योर प्लान्स व्हाट यू आर डूइंग टू गिव बैक माय प्लान्स आर टू एजुकेट मोर एंड मोर पीपल व्हेन इट कम्स टू फूड टू टेल देम द राइट इंग्रेडिएंट्स वेयर टू ऐड इट हाउ टू ऐड इट हाउ टू ऐड हेल्थ टू अ ह्यूमंस लाइफ that is much more important that is what the vision is so we we make it a point to go to you know as i just told you to smaller carts yeah. to bigger restaurants as well you know mending the ways of how food should be served in the right manner how it should be cooked in the right manner mm-hmm. and how food uh, as a product can give life and ages to other people as said i have seen one thing like restaurants or the food business ये जितनी जल्दी खुलते हैं उससे ज्यादा स्पीड से बंद हो जाते हैं वट इज लाइक रीजन बिहाइंड इट लाइक आर दे एबल टू सस्टेन और द क्वालिटी डिप्लीट वॉट वॉट हैपन्स बिकॉज नाइनटी फोर दिस इज द ओनली बिजनेस विच आज मोर फेलियर एंड एब्सोल्यूटली एंड स्टिल यू विल फाइंड एवरी डे देर आर पीपल हु आर रेडी टू ओपन इट या so like why this is happening so what is something which like people are not taking care of i tell you one of the most important things when it comes to uh, you know running of a restaurant is the manpower the moment we are able to educate understand and 
collaborate with the manpower we will be able to sustain our restaurants through coming times what happens is somebody opens a restaurant the restaurant is doing very well yeah. six months down the line there's another guy who opens a restaurant next to you he will come and ask your chef i'll give you 5000 extra can you come and work for me the guy will instantly jump so if you are planning to open a restaurant first of all you need to have the basics of the kitchen yeah you will just be helpless uh, you just imagine spending 1 crore rupees just on some chef's head which is not viable so what all we can do is we sh- first of all we should know a little bit about what restaurant how it works second yes. a rest- uh, comfort food is very important when it comes to restaurant any restaurant would survive if it is near to the comfort food of that area okay you know otherwise uh, everything else is a fashion food and fashion has a life fashion has a life it if has I'm, a shelf life yeah if i'm uh, if, if if i'm serving sushi in ludhiana you understand yeah. i can, i don't expect it to go for more than one half two years you know yeah. or the or the percentage who's uh, consuming it will decrease from let's suppose 40% people tried it to 7% approximately or 6% yeah. so what we need to do is we should stick to the roots here as well that we need to have comfort food in one or the other form if we can change the ways of serving we can change the ways of processing we can change the plating everything can happen but over comfort food we cannot expect fashion foods to last for more than one year two years or three years so uh, that's kind of a f- fad that's a kind of fad that goes away with time with time right so like now what happens is even if we go out i mean you travel abroad i travel abroad the third or the fifth day we need dal roti at any cost true we cannot survive on pasta we cannot survive on pizzas yeah. we cannot do with noodles so comfort food is very important when it comes to uh, commercials as well Yep. So you see a lot of restaurants what they've done is over the period of time they add dal makhani to their menus but the core remains a fashion so when the fashion goes away the dal makhani will also wash away so said what like for people those who are suffering from this business error what is your recommendation that okay fine right now you are into it this is how you can fix it like these are the parameters you need to watch ऐसे ऐसे करके ठीक किया जा सकता है मीट मोर शेफ्स ओके वॉट वी कैन डू इज इन दिस सर्कमस्टांसिस वी शुड नो मोर अबाउट शेफ्स हाउ दे डू वॉट दे डू वेर आर द राइट शेफ्स सेकेंड इज लर्न अबाउट द इनग्रीडियंट्स द बेसिक इनग्रीडियंट्स हाउ आर दे मिक्स वॉट इज द परचेजिंग रेट वॉट इज द सेलिंग रेट वॉट इज यू नो द प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी वॉट इज नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स द कवर गेट्स यूज इन यूर रेस्टोरेंट so uh, learning about the basics is very important if you have to survive in the food industry doing festivals is very important you yeah. should visit some festivals you can always uh, call a chef from another cuisine to do the pop ups the yeah. pop ups will help in your uh, local chefs to expertise in another cuisine so you know uh, inter exchange of skills is very important very in this important. line and we uh, we cannot rely on one or two products or a fancy decor for the restaurant to survive we need to have a thorough knowledge of food we need to rotate keep rotating the uh, staff between different restaurants the different yes. kind of trainings have to be imparted that's very important because uh, the motivation of staff is also very that important. is very important that's very important so uh, this should be done or even uh, an expert's advice can be taken about that i think if you don't know about it then you should consult someone who knows about it absolutely absolutely somebody who's an expert at it can always help you out in this because you know chefs otherwise at a junior level have a very fluctuating uh, you know nature because of their needs as well so until unless they are not rightly motivated until unless they are not rightly guided or even if your restaurant doesn't have a vision so there is no point of running a restaurant they need to be very precise about their recipes SOPs absolutely if money making is the only criteria behind opening a restaurant so don't open it that's a criteria yeah so open a restaurant when you have a vision to serve people when you have a vision uh, to serve one of the best foods you can always do it and that can only be done in company of good chefs learning from the chefs being with the chefs to wohi to isi field mein kahawat bhi to hai na kisi ke sath dushmani nikalni to se restaurant khulwa do <laughs> no that depends but you know uh, the kind of pride you feel once your restaurant is doing good, good. is amazing 
it is one of the rest it is one of the places which gives you uh, you know enough of job satisfaction when people come and praise you on your face ki wow your food is amazing you know we yeah. want to host our function we want to host our special occasions because you know here we are driving money from the happiness of people yes if you are able to do that serving good and the best food i think we made it yeah, that's that's true that's the right thing that's Definitely. the right approach yeah. people need to think about this it's not just a money making process mm-hmm. it's actually a responsibility as it's well. a responsibility as well. so if you are serving someone on their special occasion then you cannot you need to be like extra cautious bring about justice it. Yes, to bring that. justice about it it's spreading happiness yeah spreading happiness is very mm-hmm. important so sir like let's talk about supplementation like food as a supplement as a super food power foods like what what is is there something what you want to bring a light on the different foods those are eaten during uh, different requirements of the body you know a youngster at a young age would need more of foods that make him grow yep. that gives him more energy something like carbohydrates the food rich with carbohydrates needs to be eaten somebody who is doing gym for uh, you know or working out Wo- work- rigorously I yeah. think a mixture of protein and carbohydrates both are both are very good. Somebody who wants to reduce weight, of course, he has to work on uh, exercising as well as having the right diet where less of calorie intake is there. So whenever we talk about slow food, it has the capacity of giving the right kind of uh, body or a physique that a you know yeah. human being is uh, looking after. There's something called as glycemic index (GI). Yes. So there are certain foods that have very uh, low uh, gi which instantly gives us energy yep. and on the contrary when you want to have a food and you know uh, stay satisfied after it you can have foods with high glycemic index okay so just for an instance like kuch examples for example uh, banana is a super food okay coconut is a super food desi ghee is a super food so whenever we have these kind of foods उसके बाद हमें भूख लगनी जो है बहुत स्लो हो जाती है फॉर द थ्री फोर आवर्स वी बेसिकली फील फिल्ड अप फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ फीलिंग ऑफ फुलनेस फीलिंग ऑफ फुलनेस फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू हैविंग जवार वर्सेस मैदा द काइंड ऑफ सेटिस्फैक्शन वी हैव आफ्टर आफ्टर हैविंग जवार इज मच मोर हायर देन आफ्टर हैविंग मैदा ओके so uh, it's only because of the fiber content in the food is very high and very the higher high. fiber content will always keep you uh, full in your you know uh, craving needs yeah jawar is being consumed in the area of rajasthan more like no uh, as it's they they consume bajra right they consume bajra yes they consume bajra yeah so that is the only that, that is the reason behind because the, these guys are very fit yeah, they're very they're, they're thin very and fit yes yes, yes. lean and muscular i'll say so that is the main reason behind it so they there, there the, is there is another reason it's about water water yeah. has a very uh, a different kind of uh, you know uh, substantial nature when it comes to uh, different origins if you talk about order of amritsar it has one of the most highest digestive powers yes so that is the reason uh, amritsar's amritsar is eat a lot and they stay fit yes right and uh, compared to if we if we compare it with rajasthan even if you drink desi ghee in rajasthan you will not gain weight in punjab water is equal to desi ghee that's that's my personal experience i lived in rajasthan for a long time okay and i i saw people who were really slim and trim okay right and, even and, and, the- and even i was trying to have a lot of uh, you know milk a lot of lassi a lot of dahi a lot of other things just to gain weight but i never gained weight in rajasthan because okay. of the uh, climatic condition is uh, is just like that okay i i think it's it's with the water that makes uh, you slim there right so th- and of it- course that is a valid point that yes consuming millets will give you more fiber that will keep you you know satisfied for a longer time you will not have the craving of eating any other food and and it even after. eventually soak down your w- water like water weight yeah it does yeah. water retention uh, problems are seen at lot of people and that that is cured by millets that's right. like uh, nowadays like people are talking fitness experts they are even introducing that in the people's diet yep. like you need to switch grains and you need to 
like keep on trying that hmm. don't like f- fix yourself on something absolutely absolutely even last year was declared as the year of millets yes so uh, adding millets uh, in my suggestion if you cannot straight forward have 100% millets you can add it to your diet like in 20% 30% you can randomly increase it to the level where you will be able to digest it very easily so what is your weirdest or funniest experience with food or like cuisines uh i remember i went to vietnam okay and uh, we had a really weird experience so uh, so there's a tradition in vietnam what they do is if a family of 7 or 8 goes to a restaurant and they have to order a snake okay the chef will come out he'll ask you to choose your cobra he'll take okay. the cobra out slit it open right in front of you take its heart out and while it's still pumping the host eats the heart and he proves it and then the chef will cook that food right in front of you so that is one of the weirdest traditions that's of eating food creepy i've ever experienced weird. yeah that's creepy that's creepy it's that's scary creepy. yeah it is it is so uh, but if if you talk about you know the chinese or the vietnamese countries so they've been eating whatever has been available to them these uh, these countries have been uh, past in the, in the past they have you know a lot of struggle when it came to natural resources because there have been a lot of droughts you know famines or even uh, the climatic conditions have been very harsh yeah. so being uh, being a poor country in in the, you know back 4 500 years back so this used to be their food so whenever you see a chinese cooking they would use a lot of fresh ingredients for example if you having chili chicken they will eat uh, they will put a little pieces of chicken and lot of vegetables with it yes to extend it and it takes uh, not more than 5 minutes to cook the whole dish compared to what we do in india india is a slow cuisine and uh, yeah. they do it very fast so like they 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 have like broths i like we we brought it from china only broths like the salad broth kind of a thing more of a soupy and a salad kind of thing even but that is also good for health i think yeah 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 see everything is good for health depending upon what is your dna circumstances where are you, circumstances well. where are you staying yeah. if if you staying in india and if you having american food you cannot won't be able to survive for long yeah it's so like once it's a while it's fine it's the dna adaptability of food that makes us you know healthier or a disease ridden person yeah there are we have seen cases one of my cousin he was in new zealand so he just went for the study and eventually he came back because he was falling sick again and again due to bad climate conditions mm. new zealand has highest number of skin cancer patients yeah because of the ozone depletion because of the ozone depletion and he was suffering from that mm. so eventually he needs to came back to the country because it is about his life you know if you've seen a recent study uh, a lot of diseases from communicable diseases have converted into internal diseases earlier there used to be uh, malaria or any parasitical thing that used to spread through insects now yes. diseases spreading through food diabetes cancer hypertension these all are if you if you, if you look at the index it has gone high for the internal diseases than the communicable diseases definitely definitely it, we can see that transition that it's happening definitely there is a transition that people are very conscious about their health they know the health and they know the medicines they understand it very well okay this is the right time to ask they get their health checkups done on time sahi ja raha hai sab people are learning it still jo jo sikhane ki koshish ki ja rahi hai that is also very important we need to keep on learning and evolve every day so i think it was like we took enough of your time and it was really like learning session from my side i learned a lot indeed from- uh, vishal even i learned a lot i mean you know whenever we talk about something we come up with new things we learn again yeah. and uh, i think uh, it has been a great way through this podcast that you spreading uh, such amazing information among people thank you so much sir for being a part of it eventually as this podcast will go out and people will ask us questions we would love you to revisit us 
with the new because the amount of knowledge you have it we cannot just cover it in a single podcast so next time whenever you will revisit us people on people's demand we'll i think we'll have that soon will people want to learn things of course every day they are interacting they are asking us every day okay what, what, like you need to do this we want to learn this get such people invite these people so like vishal every day is learning every even day is learning. one point hits right i think we made it that's that's enough that's enough like even one even one part is enough to change uh, to you know our lives our health yeah. our whole vision boon boon se sagar bharta hai or like absolutely it's it's just like that it's a ek ray of hope hai hmm. we are going towards that and eventually i think we'll make it absolutely we'll make it yeah. thank you so much sir for being a part of it thank you so much to isi ke sath hum aaj ka podcast wind up karte hain i hope हम आपकी लाइफ में कोई कोई वैल्यू ऐड कर पाए काइंडली शेयर दिस पॉडकास्ट विद पीपल जिनको आप लगता है कि हम थोड़ी सी भी नॉलेज स्प्रेड कर पाए और उनके लिए इन्फॉर्मेशन इन्फॉर्मेटिव है तो अगर आप चाहते हैं हम ऐसे ही पॉडकास्ट बनाते रहें ऐसे ही गेट्स को लाते रहें काइंडली लाइक आ वीडियो शेयर आ वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब आ चैनल फिट्स विदेशन टॉक थैंक यू सो मच